Hi, and thanks for joining us again for another uh, segment of Real Talk with Watik here live in Denver on Colfax. Today we're going to be visiting some uh, barbershops. And the first visit we're going to stop with is Supreme Styles, uh, which is a friend of mine. So uh, happy, ha happy holidays, brother. All right, all right. So we're going to go in and kind of see what's going on with these brothers and um, what they're doing for the holidays and get some of that, that, that talk that we have at the barbershop. So this is a joyous show. Actually, today is Christmas Eve, and we just want to have some joyous times, share with our brothers and sisters out here in the streets, live, real talk with YT. So we'll see you inside. See you in a minute. All right, now we, we're in another segment of uh, Real Talk with Watik, and we're at Supreme Styles. Um, right now, you see uh, we got Brother Saheed giving me a haircut. Um, this is partially what we do to get ready for the, for the shots that we got. Um, but I, I, I wanted to ask uh, Brother Saheed, man, how, how long have you been cutting hair? Um, I've been cutting hair since 1995. 1995? Yep. Oh, so, um, wow, that's a long time, man. That's a, that's a lot of heads you've been cutting. A lot of heads. So, so, so tell me about, I mean, you know, when you first started cutting hair, man, like, what was that like, man? Like, you know, did you mess up a lot of people's heads? Or, you uh, know, you went in the game strong? As a matter of fact, it's the reason why I'm cutting your hair so low, because I started messing your head up. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can reminisce about a time when uh, brother, brother Saeed uh, gave me a cut. I, I wanted to raise the top. You notice he's not doing the raise the top today on me because uh, he took a little layer off my head back in the day. But, you know, it's all good. But I'm still here with him supporting my brother. You know, uh, since how many years you said it was, has it been again? Uh, since 95. Since 95. That's a long time. So yeah. I, I'm safe now to know that, you know, what he's doing today, he's doing a good job. Um, so, 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 man, today being uh, Christmas Eve, man, um, I mean... Well, what are you doing for the holidays? Oh, I'm not doing too much or nothing, man. I'm chilling. Chilling? Chilling. Okay, chilling like, are you cooking, uh, chilling? Are y'all playing like eating? Uh, what, what, what's on the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta eat every day, man. You gotta you know, eat so every I'm, day? So I'm gonna eat on Christmas. Oh, you gonna eat on Christmas? <laughs> Nothing special on the menu. Nothing special, you know? nothing special. Yeah, no, no turkey. No, me and my wife, we frying fish. Oh, frying fish. Okay, uh, brother Saheed, as you heard me say, brother Saheed, he doesn't, you know, like really, really participate in the uh, uh, holiday festivities as it relates to Christmas. But you know, uh, respectfully so, um, I know he still does something like frying fish would be a good thing. I just want to ask you. Um, Brother Saeed, what's some of the, what's what, the name of crazy, one, one of the craziest things you've seen since you've been a barber, um, with your experience being a barber here, um, what, what's some of the things you've seen? Um, let's see, one of the crazy, I've seen, I've seen some fights, I've seen some fights in a barber shop. Um, one thing, during that first year uh -huh. uh, that I cut hair, I uh, was messing the brother up so bad uh, in the chair that uh, he, in fact, uh, snatched the clippers out of my hand and started cutting his own hair. And I sat down in the chair and I waited till he got through. Wow. So that's one of the stories. So, so there's always something exciting going on in the barbershop, is what you're saying. Ain't nobody grabbing my uh, clippers no more, though. I don't grab the clippers no more? No. All right. Uh, well, you know, I, I, so is this is this um, cutting here? Is that a very lucrative um, business, man? Oh, it can be very lucrative. Can? Yeah. And, 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 and what does it take to become a barber? Like, what, what type of schooling or whatever you have to do to become a barber? You have to go um, to, a, uh, uh, to, a, uh, to a school, to a barber school, finish all of its um, the credit hours, mm -hmm. get your license, and then uh, upon going into the barber shop, you have to learn how to sell yourself, market yourself, uh, business cards, internet, Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, mm -hmm. whatever but market yourself, and then you can um, build your clientele like that. And also, you have to be somewhat personable. Personable? Yeah, you can't be a, a thug barber, because you're not going to make a lot of money doing that, man. You're going to scare your clients off okay. being a thug barber. Okay, you know? okay. So, uh, you got to be personable, you know. Okay. So, so that's like good customer skills. Good yep. customer service. Good customer service Okay, skills. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. And you got another cut. <laughs> well, I yeah, mean, that, I would that, think that, that would be the big thing, because... I don't think people be in your chair if you ain't know how to put the clippers yeah, on gotta, the right, yeah, right? Yeah, you got to know how to cut. Okay, all right, all right. I, I, I. And, and, and being that this is the holiday, the, Brother Saeed, you know, he stated to me that, you know, this cut is on the house. What, didn't he say that? I didn't know this was on the house. This is on the house. Let me, uh... I got to go. Yeah, you got to get up out of here. Brother Herman said, I thought I was getting a free cut. No, that's right, ain't nothing free in the chair. Christmas. White man ain't giving nothing free, so why should I get nothing free? <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's why I call him Brother Saeed because me and him go way back. Um, as you can see, um, Brian, uh, uh, Brother Saeed is, is working on my mustache and beard, um, in which I think this is a very important area of when you get your, when you get your uh, haircut or you know, your face done. Um, so he's going to pay pretty close attention to that to ensure that my lining is of that, in which it should be good, along with uh, this, new project that, this new product that I'm using called uh, Beijing. It ain't new. It's, oh, it's new to you. Oh, it's new to me. Um, and it actually covers up the gray. And you guys will get to see firsthand what that looks like. Do I need to stop talking when you do that? Okay. I'm going to have to be quiet for a moment, guys, but you can watch while he go ahead and put this, put this little cut on my uh, beard. And this is what we have, the final results of the uh, cut from Brother Saeed. Um, and if I must say so myself, he does a wonderful job. So you can see why I come here. A lot better than 95? A lot better than 95. He came a long way. <laughs> And this is that new, like I was telling you guys, this is that new Beijing. New for you. Well, new, well yeah, new for me. <laughs> so I want you guys to be the, the judge of the, the cut. So y'all can, y'all can, uh, y'all can email me at watik7 at gmail.com and tell me what you think about my cut. And if you like what Brother Saeed has done. All right? Thank you. So, uh, Brother Herman, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the shop here, you know, how long you've been here. Um, and if you can, if you can remember, um, what's one of the most memorable days or times you've had as a barber um, been in this field? Okay. Well, my name is Herman Muhammad, and um, this is, of course, Supreme Style Barber Shop. We've been here in this particular location just for a little bit over a year. Mm -hmm. But I've been in business, um, it'll be 15 years this coming February. That's a long time. Um, in terms of, what else do you want to know? Most um, tell me about one the most memorable time as being a barber, some exciting that you've seen as, a, as being a barber, especially being on Colfax and what, what it's like being um, <laughs> here on Colfax. Yeah, Colfax is always exciting. It's kind of hard to, to put it, to just finger one particular incident every day is an adventure man in, in the barbershop every day because you get you know the the barbershop is a microcosm of the black community at large you know what i mean so we get everybody from uh our newly elected mayor who just came in here recently to uh your average uh street brother so it's you know every day is an adventure man you, you have any uh cars coming through the window or anything like that or rocks being thrown at no, the shop not, none not of that it, not, not in this particular location. I, I had more exciting times actually when I was in the hood on Oneida than over here, believe it or not. So it's pretty calm here on Colfax. And, and that's one of the stickers we wanted to make sure that you guys know that Colfax is a very historical um, street um, that's, that spans from the east all the way out to the west. Um, I think it's one of the landmarks here in Colorado, is that correct? Uh, and, and that's true, and Colfax is actually the, the longest thoroughfare in America. You know what I'm saying? So you got from, to start from I-70, go all the way through the mountains, you know, damn near to whatever the next state is over there, Utah or Arizona or whatever. But so it's a really long historical uh, thoroughfare. And see, I didn't even know that. So that's a little history that was brought to me today. So um, just know that Colfax is a very monumental uh, piece of uh, street that goes from 
like I said, far out east to as far as west as possible to the next state. So that's that's an education for us in Colorado. So, um, but uh, um, so so in, in your time and being a barber, and a lot of things that you've seen during your time as being a barber, um, would would you just would you like doing something different, or this is something that you feel like you're gonna do for the rest of your life? Um, I definitely think that this is something that I'll do for the rest of my life. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy the people. I don't even feel like I'm working. You know what I mean? I'm just hanging out with the brothers. And you know what better job could a person have? And you know, and that's what that's what life is about. If you enjoy what you do, you're gonna do it a lot better. And the people who you serve are gonna be more pleased as well. So yeah, being a barber is where it's at. And it goes back to what we were talking about. If you provide great customer service, along with, like I said, being able to interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis, this would be a, a, a good job to have as a barber. Um, we kind of got a little bit of information from Brother Saheed on, on what it takes to become a barber, but it's something that people might be interested in. You know, hey, it's something that you might want to try out. You get to interact with people every day and have a good time. Brother Herman loves it. He likes doing his job, and he says he wouldn't do anything else but barbering. So, um, I, 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 my other thing is, in, in, inside the barbershop life, I know, and I watched that barbershop movie with Ice Cube, mm -hmm. um, so all that talk about rumors and, 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 and things that, uh, that, what type of topics, you talk about political stuff here, or is it is an open array of different things that you guys discuss at the barbershop? You know, it, it's real interesting because when we're in barber school, we learn that the three topics that you should stay away from is sports, politics, and religion. And the three topics that you talk about most once you get into the barbershop are sports, politics, and religion. <laughs> so, so with that being said, um, um, were there ever any type of heated debates as it, as it relates to any of those three uh, things that you just named off that you've been a part of in your, in your history of being a barber? Oh, man. I mean, as we speak now, the Broncos just took a, a trouncing. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, that's always a heated thing with, with Brock, Bronco fans. My man came over here and shut the TV down. They was losing so bad. Wow, you know what I'm wow. saying? But, you know, it's all in good right, fun. Right, right, right. It's all in good fun. So, and, 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 and that's the whole life of being a barber. I mean, like I said, the atmosphere is great here. I like, I like this atmosphere. Um, I patronize this place as much as I can. I come in here to see these brothers have a good time. It's joyous, you know. Um, as you can see, and you know, we can look around, see the young man right now getting his hair cut. He seems like he's satisfied. Actually... He's asleep. Are you good? Oh, but see, it's relaxing. It's like you know, like when like when women go get their hair cut and their nails done, the feet done. That's 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 therapeutic to them. But haircuts to men is therapeutic as well. And we can sit down and, and get and, and get treated well and get a nice haircut as well. So I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. So so I, I know and understand that you don't really celebrate the holidays in this in this natural um, tradition. So do you do anything in the holidays since that's, it's Christmas Eve today? In regards to the holidays, I mean, I'll take my children, you know, to some Kwanzaa celebrations and things of that nature. But I, I, I think that the whole Christmas piece has been so commercialized that we try to, if we do celebrate, we just try and be, uh, be um, prayerful and appreciative of all the things that we have have attained this year and the things that we're going to get in the future. So that, that's how we do it, you know. Now, this, this is my last question I have because I know, um, knowing you for as many years I've known you, Brother Herman, um, I, I've been a part of one um, hair show. Mm -hmm. So are you guys, uh, that's something that they, they still do out here in Colorado? Or if it's not, or is it something that you guys look to bring it back? Yeah. Um, what's going on with that? Yeah, definitely. There's supposed to be a hair show coming up in January. Uh, at the end of January. I don't know if it's going to go through, though. The, uh, something happened with the venue. But uh, definitely within the coming months, there will definitely be some hair shows coming up. And, and, uh, to tell y'all about them hair shows, they're they're great. They're great because there's a lot of things that go on in the hair shows that, um, from a barber's perspective, that uh, you can learn a lot of different things and see how barbers cut fast and to the different styles that they bring along. So uh, maybe sometime in the future we can bring the barbers back on, or maybe even bring in some um, patrons that uh, had their hair done to see the different styles that they have. So this is this is your boy Watik again with Real Talk with Watik out here in Colorado, getting it real. Um, just want to show y'all how I get it real, and this is what I look like when I get my stuff done up to make sure I'm camera ready as well. All right, so before we go, though, I just want to make sure that we have all the information from Brother Herman as it relates to where he's located at. So if you want to come get your hair cut, um, we're going to tell you where you can come get it at. Supreme Styles, and I'll let Brother Herman give you the other information. Yes, sir. so Supreme Style Barbers at 5732 East Colfax Avenue. That's Denver 80220. If you want to uh, check us out online, go to astar2.com. That's www.astar2.com. Or hit me on my Facebook, 
Herman Muhammad. You got anything else you want to add to this, brother? Supreme. <laughs> Thank you for your time, people. Again, it's Real Talk with Watik. We see you on the other side of 20, 2012. Take care. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah and all that good stuff for all the offer, whatever you believe in. Take care. See you. Bye. We out of here. Thank you.